To understand how to graph a variation of the tangent function, first we'll review the graph of the basic tangent function. As you see in the graph of y equals tangent of x, the two closest asymptotes to the origin are at negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. So we can say that the function completes one period as x changes from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. Now to find the values of x for which the function y equals a tangent of bx minus c completes one full period, we need to solve the following inequality. bx minus c is greater than negative pi over 2 and is less than positive pi over 2. So as you see, if in this function over one period x is between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2, then in this function the expression bx minus c is between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. Now to solve this inequality for x, first we will add c to all three parts. In the middle, negative c and positive c will cancel, and we will have negative pi over 2 plus c is less than bx and is less than pi over 2 plus c. And now to get x alone, we will divide all three parts by b. In the middle, b will cancel. Then we will have the following x is greater than negative pi over 2 plus c over b and is less than positive pi over 2 plus c over b. Now these two expressions represent the new asymptotes for the function y equals a tangent of bx minus c. So the function completes one period as x changes from this value to this value. Now let's take another look at the basic tangent function. If we look at this period, then we see that the function crosses the x-axis right in the middle between these two vertical asymptotes. This point is an x-intercept for this function. Then if from the x-intercept we move halfway to the right between the x-intercept and the vertical asymptote, then here the value of the function is positive 1, and if from the x-intercept we move halfway to the left, then the value of the function is negative 1. And this is because the x-coordinate of this point is pi over 4 and tangent of pi over 4 is 1. But halfway to the left, the x-coordinate of this point is negative pi over 4 and tangent of negative pi over 4 is negative 1. Now, if in front of the function we have a number a, then from the x-intercept, when we move halfway to the right, the value of the function will be positive a, and when we move halfway to the left, the value of the function will be negative a. For example, let's say we have the function y equals 2 tangent of x. Below, I will draw the graph. As you see, the vertical asymptotes are still at negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2, and that is because at these values the tangent is undefined. However, because of this 2 that we have in front of the tangent, when we move from the x-intercept halfway to the right, the value of the function is positive 2, but when we move halfway to the left, the value of the function is negative 2. But what about the graph of the function y equals negative 2 tangent of x? Here I will put the graph below. As you see, because in front of tangent we have negative 2, then if from the x-intercept we move halfway to the right, the value of the function is negative 2, and when we move halfway to the left, the value is positive 2. So whatever number we have here, that will be the value of the function when we move halfway to the right. And if we compare these two graphs, then we may recall from algebra that if in front of a function we put a negative, then the graph will be reflected about the x-axis. And if over this interval this function is increasing, 
then over the same interval this function is decreasing. Now let's see an example that will have this form y equals a tangent of bx minus c and this means that we will start by finding the new asymptotes. We will graph the function y equals 4 tangent of 2x minus pi. To find the new asymptotes we will write the inequality 2x minus pi is greater than negative pi over 2 and less than positive pi over 2. From here we will add pi to all three parts then to the left pi minus pi over 2 is pi over 2 so we will have pi over 2 less than then in the middle negative pi and positive pi will cancel and we will have 2x less than and to the right pi plus pi over 2 is 3 pi over 2. So then here we will have 3 pi over 2. Now to get x alone we have to divide all three parts by 2. Then on the left pi over 2 divided by 2 is the same as pi over 2 times 1 over 2 which makes pi over 4. Then in the middle 2 and 2 will cancel and we will have x. Then to the right 3 pi over 2 divided by 2 is 3 pi over 4. Now these are the new asymptotes for our function and we will graph them to the right. So here on the x-axis we will have pi over 4 then 2 pi over 4 which is the same as pi over 2 then 2 pi over 4 plus another pi over 4 will be 3 pi over 4. And now at pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4 we will draw the new asymptotes. From the graph we see that the x-intercept is at pi over 2 because this is the point that is exactly between pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4. But if we would not have this value on the graph then to find it we need to add pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4 and then divide the result by 2. So again to find this x-intercept I would need to add pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4 and divide the result by 2. Then pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4 makes 4 pi over 4. All this has to be divided by 2. Then 4 and 4 will cancel and we will get pi over 2. Now once we know the x-intercept we know that if we move halfway to the right the value of the tangent will be positive 4 because we have a 4 in front of the tangent and halfway to the left the value of the tangent will be negative 4. To have a more accurate graph let's find the x-coordinates of these points. The x-coordinate of this point that is right in between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 4 is found by adding pi over 2 and 3 pi over 4 and then dividing the result by 2. I will do the calculations here to the left. Pi over 2 plus 3 pi over 4 all divided by 2. To add we need to get the same denominator so I will multiply the numerator and the denominator of the first fraction by 2. Then 2 pi over 4 plus 3 pi over 4 makes 5 pi over 4. And 5 pi over 4 divided by 2 makes 5 pi over 8. So this point here has the coordinate 5 pi over 8. Now to find the coordinate of this point we will add pi over 4 and pi over 2 and we will divide the result by 2. So then pi over 4 plus pi over 2 divided by 2. Again we will multiply the numerator and the denominator of the second fraction by 2. Then pi over 4 plus 2 pi over 4 makes 3 pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4 divided by 2 is 3 pi over 8. So then this point on the x-axis has the coordinate 3 pi 
over 8. And now at pi over 2 we have an x-intercept. At 5 pi over 8 we will move up 4 units. And at 3 pi over 8 we will move down 4 units. And before we continue with the graph, I wanted to let you know that we can check all this work using a calculator. For example, if we replace this x with 5 pi over 8 and we type all this in the calculator, then we will get the value of 4. Now, let's connect the points to get the graph. So, from the x-intercept, as we get closer to 3 pi over 4, the function will approach positive infinity. And when we get closer to pi over 4, the function will approach negative infinity. So here we have the graph of the function y equals 4 tangent of 2x minus pi and the period of this function is pi over 2 because the distance from pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4 is pi over 2. From here we can repeat this graph to the left and to the right as many times as we need. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.